guys welcome back it's a boy again i'm sleeping how you guys are doing welcome back to another video so guys uh, this is not adam sling vlog this is uh, original ninja boys vlog ninja boys simply and uh for, for my friends who are close to me family members know this about me that whenever they want to get the truth out of me they just simply have to just wait till morning and they will ask me anything at all i can never lie early in the morning if you want to get the truth, the fact about anything out of me, just wake me up and I will tell you the entire truth. And it's about 8 o'clock, definitely you know I'm not lying. And also the reason why I'm deciding to, I'm deciding to share this with you is because above all, I want you guys to learn to, of course, to know one or two ways on how you can make your money work for you. Because I myself, I believe putting money in the bank is complete waste of time because it doesn't have any value so uh and meanwhile most especially if you are in nigeria and you are banking your money in naira sorry before one year or two years we know that naira will depreciate so the reason why i'm doing this is because like like i've said before to share one or two knowledge out there and to also share my success story and also to make money from this because definitely when you are watching this i'm also going to be making money from you too but above all i just want to share you some little ideas so uh let me start it's about doge cryptocurrency and i think africa's we nigeria have been cheated a lot in fact recently sir the cbn and Jura cbn governor came out and tried to ban cryptocurrency they banded it they stopped our banks from uh Involving that kind of transaction that have to do with cryptocurrency. That is really really bad for Nigerians. And meanwhile, Ghana, other neighboring countries, USA, all of them, they are pulling on cryptocurrency, making huge amount of money from cryptocurrency. In fact, because of the ban of cryptocurrency, they don't even know our Nigerians are even going outside to places like Ghana, Kenya. Ethiopia, Ninjel to try to open account, bank account there so that they can be able to deal on cryptocurrency online because Nigeria Bank obviously do not encourage or do not support any direct payment with cryptocurrency because of the ban and it's extremely hard for a Nigeria guy now to just comfortably sit at home and make huge amount of money. Well, I'm not about to talk about Nigeria policies and so on and so forth. Well, let us talk about the Doge coin. And let me tell you my success story. It's really, really like I don't know how to say it, but it's quite a really big success story. So I'm listing and listing good. Well, guys, uh, let's go into it. I've known about cryptocurrency years ago. And honestly, I'm completely mad at myself because I failed. To learn about it to read about it to go into it how to invest in it if not if i would have if then i actually sat down to invest in it maybe for sure i would have been balling with my friends now who bought bitcoin when bitcoin was like hundred dollar and i knew about bitcoin when i uh, was like one thousand dollars like three years ago by the time you didn't even look at it or invest in it because i was afraid i thought it was another Pause scheme. I thought it was another forest trade. And meanwhile, cryptocurrency is way more easier than forest trade. Well, a lot of people will, won't agree with that as well. Well, I messed up. Not investing on Bitcoin and other currencies as well. And uh, about three months or two months and some weeks ago, I went to office. Of course, I work with federal government apart from my YouTube work. And I saw this IT guy, industrial training guy. And uh, he told me about Dogecoin. He said Dogecoin, he bought Dogecoin for, he bought 5,000 Dogecoin at the rate of 30 Naira. And I already knew about Dogecoin a week before I met this guy at my workplace. And uh, I had it from Elon Musk. And then Dogecoin was like 10 Naira. And please, if you want to know the entry rate to 10 era to a dollar, please check it out. It's like a few cents, even not one cent. Well, I meant uh, him, he told me about Dogecoin. Then what I did was like, okay, where can I get the Dogecoin from? He told me from Binance. 
well i'm not trying to do any kind of promo for binance i'm just telling you where i bought it from so i downloaded this app i registered did everything i was still skeptical about it i was still afraid but i was like oh come on man people are balling on on bitcoin already what am i doing afraid on on uh investing on dogecoin meanwhile i have the money to spare for dogecoin i have money usually i will go outside spend thirty thousand naira, forty thousand naira on irrelevant things like okay this is an investment why not just simply do it just see it as something that you are spending irrelevant something you are spending on and but it's just that this irrelevant thing might might end up giving you income because you go out every time with your friends to buy booze. I'm like, okay. Then I talk to myself. And meanwhile, while I was reading about it, talking to myself, contemplating, convincing myself to invest, those coins rose from 30 naira to 35 naira in just a few minutes. Then I crossed my mind. I had this 500,000 naira. I was willing to let go. I was willing to lose. I was willing to gamble. It was 500,000 naira. I, I was like, okay, should I put 50,000 naira? I was like, no, I was I was looking for a short-term gain. So I feel like 50,000 naira too small. Okay, I have this 500,000 naira. Then I crossed my heart. I invested 500,000 naira. I bought 40,000 units of Dogecoin. I amounted to 470 something thousand naira, but with extra charges and all the rest, it amounted to 500,000 naira. So I invested 500,000 naira in it. Guess what? A week later, those coin rose to 80, 80 naira. Then I was like, okay, should I withdraw? Should I withdraw my money now? I still convinced myself not to withdraw. Then two weeks, additional two weeks, those square rose to 200 naira. No, rose to 150, 150 naira. I was still contemplating. Should I? I said no. Then it dropped to 100 naira. Again, dropped to 18 naira back. I was like, this thing is crashing. You know? It's crashing. You know? Go and collect your money. At least you bought it 35 naira, uh, 35 naira each. Now you, there's additional uh, gain. There's an additional gain of like uh, 45 naira. Just go and withdraw. You have made so much I say I told myself, I said Adam Sling, you already said you can gamble this 500,000 naira. It's not going to affect you if you lost it. Then why are you bothering yourself? I said, okay, it's, I, I can't deal down. And uh, about a week ago, <laughs> those square rolls to 250 naira. 250 naira, I still told myself, no. Until it went up to 300 naira, guys. You guys know if you guys are following me on Instagram, you know, one particular time I tweet, I wrote on my Instagram story about those coin. Yes, then I was really, really happy. Then when it was 300 naira, that was when I withdrew some money. 300 naira, 300 times, 300 times 14,000 Dutch coin. That would give you 4.2 million naira and i and i invested 500 thousand naira a few weeks ago then you know what i did i withdrew my investment 500 thousand and also another 500 thousand making 1 million then i left three uh, i left 3 million 200 thousand 3.2 million naira what value of uh, what of dogecoin i left it there I already withdraw my withdrew my investment and I withdrew or additional five hundred thousand naira making one with million. Tell me honestly, which business that are you gonna invest in? Which shop are you gonna or which product are you buying that will get you three point eight or three point seven million naira profit in less than a month? Can you tell me which business that you can invest in? I will get you theory or give you a one million profit. A five hundred thousand naira investment that you will invest in that will give you one million naira profit in a month. Tell me, guys, I'm waiting. Can you leave a comment below? 
and uh, apart from that i left dogecoin of 0.2 million naira in the, my account and honestly some people have just imagine me i just only bought dogecoin worth of 500 thousand naira so people have dogecoin worth of 10 million naira and if you invested 10 million naira like uh, when you bought it 10 million naira at the rate of 30 naira just imagine what 10 million naira will get we get you now that is 300 naira but meanwhile you know it's fluctuating those coin has gone down now to theory to two 220 naira but they're still gaining it because i bought my 35 naira and honestly to be frank i'm not gonna withdraw any dime from that again even if i lost it no problem it's not my money anyways investment it's my money but it's investment i already took out my investment and some gains so even though i lost it no problem but i believe and let's go back to the it guy the it guy only had five thousand naira to invest and he bought those kind of 167 units at the range of 30 30 naira then then after the success story i took hundred thousand naira I invested 100,000 naira for him. I bought Dogecoin worth 100,000 naira for him. He was so, so happy, guys. I'm glad that I was able to buy. Like, I would have given him that money. In fact, I wanted to give him 100,000 naira. He said, no, 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 I'm going to eat it. Please use it to buy, transfer Bitcoin, uh, Dogecoin, sorry, Dogecoin worth 100,000 naira for me. And I did that. And the guy was so, so happy about it. Like, the guy, like... The zeal he has about Dogecoin, eh? in fact, eh? Elwin Mox don't even have that kind of zeal. He so, so have this strong belief that Dogecoin will rise to the standard of Bitcoin. I don't know how he's getting this encouragement from, but the guy is so, so believe, like he has that belief. Well, I hope, I seriously hope that his dreams does come true because if he actually comes through i will also gain so much millions from it like i've said before i may i i lost a lot of investment on bitcoin so i'm not going to lose it on any other currency like uh, please if you want to invest in this kind of something make sure it just treat it like a puzzle skin it's not a puzzle skin but i will advise you to treat it like a puzzle skin a puzzle scheme is something that you put money in and uh, you know very well you might not get your investment back or you might have lost so much money. So put money in it that you know you can lose. Put money in it that you know you can just let go. Understand? LMOs, uh, LMOs uh, invested $1 billion US dollar on Bitcoin. Of course, it's the, $1 billion is what you can let go. Even if you lost it, no problem. You invested one billion dollars on Bitcoin. So please, if you want to invest there, try to make your money work for you. Like I've said before, putting money in the bank is completely a waste of time to me. Of course, I have money in the bank too, but for me, I don't. I'm not happy anytime I bank my money. Seriously, instead I use it to buy one property or I use it to do an investment. Then I'm really, really happy about that. Because when you put money in the bank, most especially in Naira, of course, definitely gonna lose value. 10 naira 20 years ago, 10 naira 5, 10 naira 3 years ago is not 10 naira now. But $100, or oh, let me sorry, $100, uh, $100 one year ago has, has gained more value now that we are talking. So I would prefer or store or store my money in dollars or in other currencies. But it's, it's it's not as if I'm trying to downplay our economy, but honestly, that is just an obvious truth. And uh, meanwhile, guys, uh, like I've said before, you are a human being with your choice. This is a disclaimer. And uh, if you want to invest, good and fine. If you don't want to invest, good and fine. And uh, if you are, I'm not begging you, I'm not asking you, I'm not forcing you to invest or not to invest. But if you want to, good and fine. So be willing to lose money. So that's why I say this is a disclaimer. So I'm not the one telling you to do that. And uh, like I've said before, this is my success story. And uh, don't worry. Those were going to rise uh, to 500 Naira. And it's still going up. And uh, I'm even planning on buying more. Yeah. I'm planning on buying more. Yeah, despite it's 200 or something Naira. Yes, I'm still going to buy more. I'm still going to definitely going to buy more.
Mm -hmm. So guys, I thank you very much for watching Support the Adams Link. Have a wonderful day. 